Well guys, it is Friday, May the 20th, and the quest for the Gunshy Gobbler continues. We had them pretty close yesterday morning. <clears throat> we had them at about 70 yards, couldn't get a shot at them. And uh, he's running around with seven jakes and uh, a couple hens. And the jakes got in front of Joey and for some reason, I don't think they saw him, but they just, they didn't feel right. Something was up. They spooked. Um, so I came back yesterday afternoon and thought I'd try it in the evening. And, uh, when I was heading to the blind, there was a Jake and a hen 20 yards behind the blind. And, uh, him and the other six Jakes and a hen were about... 200 yards down below here in the field and uh, at about a quarter after six they ended up popping out right in front of me here and they were out about 70 yards from me too and wouldn't come any closer so but I knew they'd be back where they always are because when he went into the woods it was about 7.30 last night, he started gobbling before he got to his roost point, so, and it's, uh, 20 after 5 right now, and he's already gobbled once, so, he's right back where he always is. We, uh, got a little different setup going on here today, so, gotta keep trying to switch things up on him. So hopefully it pays off, but we'll see what happens. I can, uh, we can only hunt for till about seven o'clock this morning. Home Depot's bringing a dryer, so I got to be home. But usually they hit this field by 6:30, and if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So stick with us. You're watching Inception TV. Hopefully we'll have some more footage of the gunshot gobbler and hopefully we can finally seal the deal on this son of a gun. So, stick with us.
Night, night. Finally, the gunshot gobbler is done. Yes! 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 Joseph just put the smack down on the gunshot gobbler. I gotta be home at 7 o'clock. Home Depot's bringing a dryer that I had ordered. And these birds have been hitting the ground and hitting this field at 6.30. So I told him, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen fast. And, you know, we can still be home. I only got to take the Polaris, you know, and we're within five minutes. So it is right now 6.53. So, and he just smoked them. Yes! The quest for the gun shy gobbler has just ended Friday, May 20th at 6.53 a.m. You're watching Inception TV. Better pictures yet to come. Stick with us. That worked out killer, dude. The gun shy gobbler has finally hit the dirt. Joseph laid the smack down this morning. Yeah, I missed him the other day. I don't know what happened, but uh, apparently when I shot, he uh, had his head down. I know my odds are bad, but I didn't think they were that bad. But uh, yeah, I missed him, man. So that's something though, but we kept after it. Made a couple little small changes and stuff like that. And we come down here this morning, we only got like short amount of time we got to get back to his place here but uh we figured we'd do it and see how it you know turned out and everything and they did exactly what we thought they were going to do and uh it all worked out man it was just an awesome hunt so i'm tagged out um but we're going to get my brother here one we still got some time so uh stick with us man you watch Inception TV. Inception TV, getting it done yet again in PA. <laughs> Friday, May 20th. Joseph's tagged out. 6.45 a.m. I think he shot it at 6.53. Love yeah, you, brother. I love you too, bro. Yeah! Okay, Joseph's going to measure with the gold brigade, see how big the beard and spurs are. What do we got? Nine inches. A little over an inch. It's a nine inch beard and a little over inch spurs. Just a hair bigger than your dad's. Awesome. <laughs>